so today we are looking at uh, the experiment which is titled natural draft ventilation these are all the equipments that i will be requiring to perform this experiment firstly we have the the tunnel assembly this here is the tunnel base this is the tunnel roof this is the tunnel back side and this is the tunnel front side these are the side walls of the tunnel that will be required then we have a couple of clips that will be requiring for the tunnel assembly and we have the hole plugs that we will be using to pack these holes here. Additionally, I have the chimney, the pipe uh, that, that will act as a chimney in this experiment. Then there is a pipe bend. This is an attachment of this pipe and there is the hoop holder that we will be using to hold the hoop inside. To perform this experiment, apart from the, the parts that is provided from the kit, we will need a few more parts, a, a few more equipments that is, this is the hoop that will be lighting up to simulate the smoke and to, to see the, the wind flow patterns in the uh, experiment. This is the matchstick that I will be using to light the hoop. And then there is the, the fan which we will be using to simulate the wind flow. The objective of this experiment is for students to understand how natural draft ventilation works uh, and how we can incorporate into the design. This will help, the setup will help students to imagine uh, being able to incorporate natural draft ventilation in their designs. So we'll look at the assembly of this experiment. First, I will take the base of the tunnel and I will then take the back side of the tunnel. So here you can see there are markings top bottom and we have to make sure that the markings is on uh, uh, markings are on the outside. We'll make sure that the notches that we have provided here should match the holes once this is done we will take the the windows and so i'll just put this window we will again make sure that the top and bottom sides are on the top and uh, top side is on the top and bottom side is on the bottom and grids are outside. We will use the clip to fix this part. Similarly, we will assemble the other side. top side on top, bottom on bottom, take the clip, this is done, now we will take the tunnel roof, This is the tunnel roof that is done now and this is the tunnel front side.
this is the tunnel assembly. We have the pipe here and we have the bend. We have to the, the bend is used such that it goes in the pipe like this on top. And this will this pipe will go here and these plugs provided these will go here. This is the tunnel assembly. So we will look at the procedure of this experiment now. Firstly, we have the tunnel here. We will be putting the, the chimney in the center hole provided in the tunnel. However, one important aspect of this experiment is that to, to perform it, we need the top side of the chimney and the the, uh, the fan to be in line so that um, we can we can see what is the impact of wind uh, on top of the chimney when, when wind passes from the top of the chimney what is the impact on the inside of the tunnel so to, to look at this we will first be providing an elevation for this fan we can use anything that we have uh, to provide it uh, to provide the elevated elevation that is I will use a few parts from the kit that I have. These are the boxes that you have as part of the kit. I also have this sorry. This board that I'll place here and I'll place the fan. So now you can see that the fan is in line with the top of the chimney here. Next thing that I will do is, I have the dhup with me, I will light the dhup. Before lighting the dhup, I will just cover these holes uh, with the plugs. I will use a matchstick. I will make sure that I light it up um, <coughs> now here you can see the smoke coming out of this I will place it in the loop holder and I this is my loop holder that I have and I will open the, the tunnel front and I'll place it exactly beneath the chimney hole. I'll close this tunnel off. Okay. Once I've done this, I will switch on the fan and, and initially what I'll do is I'll just remove this this plug here. I'll just switch on the fan. I'll make sure to put the anemometer in this hole uh, beneath the the chimney hole here, and I'll. And look at the reading that I am getting in the anemometer. Okay. 
currently i am not getting any wind reading inside and here also you can see that the the dhoop that is uh, getting getting out from the dhoop holder it is also not coming out from here so that means the the wind flow pattern currently it, it doesn't um, enable the, uh, the 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 heat to come out of the chimney currently now what i'll do is i will put a bend here so first i'll put a bend away from the the wind that, that is in the in the windward direction in the, in the direction of the wind away from the fan that is and i'll repeat the same procedure I'll put the anemometer beneath the, the fan, sorry, beneath the chimney hole. Note down the reading. Here again, I'm not able to see any reading. And also I'm not able to see the, the smoke coming out of this, uh, this chimney here. Now I will flip the the bend towards the fan and now I will again do uh, uh, take the reading from anemometer. Here I am able to witness some wind speed. Uh, the reading is 3.5 meter per second which means that the, the wind from, uh, from this fan here is entering the chimney through this hole. So, and, and here also you can see maybe since the, the wind speed is, is not so much we are not able to see any change in the hoop holder or, or the hoop pattern or the smoke pattern but one important aspect to, to understand and to learn from this whole setup is that if we have uh, if, if we understand the wind flow patterns of the site we can actually catch that wind using this kind of uh, setup uh, and it is and uh, it um, it indicates something of so, of the sort of uh, uh, an equipment known as wind catcher which is used to catch the wind and uh, provide fresh uh, ventilation inside the the structure or the room so this is a, a, i mean a, on the principle on the principle of this experiment we can design wind catchers and this is going to give students an, an idea as to how the the wind catcher principle works if we just put a bend uh, in the direction of the wind it will catch the wind and it will uh, provide it uh, and it will send it into the uh, into the structure and inside the structure so this is the experiment thank you